for add or delete questions, uh, you can always read the, the sentence beforehand and try to give your get a, an instinctual response. Is it something that you would write? Is it something that you would delete? Um, that's not always reliable. I think in this case, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, the sentence is, though these conservation methods can be costly and time consuming, they are well worth the effort. That sounds fine to me. I don't, I don't really know. If I read a little bit more, well worth the effort seems to match with what's coming up in this paragraph, right? Uh, it's a healthy food. It's an excellent source of calcium and protein. It's a digestive aid, has few calories. Um, it is lower in sugar. Um, more concentrated, more protein, so helping people stay, whatever, right? So you can you can see the point, right? This matches with the sentence, right? So, okay, maybe that means that we keep it, but let's look at the becauses as well, all right? The becauses are important. So if we did say that we wanted to delete it, we would need to go back to the previous paragraph. It does not provide a transition from the previous paragraph. Well, that, that might be true. So I need to follow that instruction in the question and make sure I read, right? So the becauses in this case are giving us instructions that we need to follow. Don't be lazy. So if we go back to the previous paragraph, we just read this for a previous question, but um, we remember that they talk about the problems and then we get into the solutions, right? Here, solutions. So it goes from negative to positive. And at the end here, it's talking about uh, yogurt manufacturers, food scientists, and government officials are also working together to develop additional solutions for reusing whey. So conservation method sounds a lot like a way to reuse whey, right? Conservation, reuse, those words are pretty much the same. So that also seems to flow. So even if you didn't love this sentence, this is not a good reason to get rid of it. Um, it does seem to transition from the previous paragraph. I don't know. Let's look at B. Uh, yes, we should delete it because it fails to support the main argument of the passage as introduced in the first paragraph. Well, no. I mean, I don't even give the first paragraph here, but the whole thing is about the way, and, and this seems that it's well worth the effort, and then this rest of this paragraph seems to support that idea. So if we were to get rid of this sentence because it didn't support the main idea of the first paragraph, then we'd need to get rid of this entire paragraph. And we know we're not doing that, so this doesn't make sense. So it, it sounded good, and so we're not gonna delete it, and why? We need to make sure the because matches there as well. Uh, it continues the explanation of how acid whey can be disposed of safely. Well, no, it does not. It says good stuff about acid whey, or, or about the, the Greek yogurt, but it doesn't talk about acid whey and, and how we're disposing of it. That's the previous paragraph. So hopefully it's D. And sure enough, it sets up the argument in this paragraph for the benefits of Greek yogurt, and, and yes, it does. So uh, the previous paragraph was talking about a problem with Greek yogurt. Now we're transitioning into why that problem is still worthwhile for us to solve because Greek yogurt is amazing. So there you go. But the key here is because this is an ideas question, we are not allowed to just trust our instincts. Our instincts may end up being right, that, though, does not mean that we should have trusted them blindly. It just means that we need to do the work of, of looking for the instructions, doing what we're told, and making sure that the ideas match with what else is going on in the passage. So uh, there is a process here, and that's how we make sure that we get these right every time. You know, if you're lucky, maybe your instincts will be right every time, too, but we don't really know that, and the SAT is good at tricking us. So follow instructions. That's the main uh, way to handle these.